Really be lying if I said this experience has been like amazing. Like, but I feel lonely. Like Hello, lovely people. My last vlog was me moving and technically just moving rooms because I moved to a bigger room, but I'm moving again. It wasn't in my plans to move right right now like i was looking to move but not like immediately you know but then i just it i have to move now today is tuesday i move on friday it's been feeling kind of bittersweet like i'm excited to move to my own place now but at the same time this i don't know it just feels kind of not rushed but it wasn't in the plans um originally but i'm excited for my new place at the same time and i'm just feeling i don't know this is the condition of my room like girl get it together the clean laundry that i have to fold in those are that's my dirty robe and then i have to pack all of these things that i haven't even not even started so i brought a box just now from downstairs that i was saving and i'm gonna put as much things as i can in there to at least look like i'm doing something i'm gonna pack uh, as much as i can right now see you guys so it's like 11 30. it's pretty dark sorry about the camera quality again but i made a little bit of progress like i had to take several breaks because i have chronic back pain if you did not know my back aches so bad so me sitting down on the floor and trying to sort things was really taking its toll, so I had to take several, several, several breaks. But those bags packed. This is what I got to fill with. Here, and I'm gonna pull it apart tomorrow though, but because I'm not in the mood right now. My desk hasn't even started. Like, just, yeah. I cleared all of this out. I was debating taking it down or not. I'm not sure yet. But. Yeah, that's the progress so far. I don't know. I'm thinking of just getting these cubes and just throwing them in the U-Haul. Like, I don't need to empty them, you know? But, we'll see. We'll see. But that's the progress. So as far as I got today, like I said, I had to take several extended breaks because my back was paining me. So, we'll see where we end up tomorrow. It's the next night. Today is Wednesday night. I got from work a few hours ago. I was at the mall first time because I had to figure out my Wi-Fi. When I'm home, I have a really bad headache that I'm trying to work with. But I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to transfer my clothes because I don't have any extra suitcases. So I'm, tr I'm thinking of doing the plastic bag method where you leave them on the hanger and you just put it all in a garbage bag. That's what I think I'm going to do. But first, I got to fill the laundry. It's literally 12 a.m. I have work. I have to catch the bus at seven thirty, so I need to go to bed. But I did make a lot of progress today. A lot of progress. I'm tired, but I made a lot of progress. Yeah, let me show you. So, uh, these two boxes. Right here we have this bag, and then we have a suitcase underneath that's packed. We have a suitcase right there, and we have this bag. And there's another bag. But this is just grocery bags because I keep forgetting my grocery bags everywhere I go. So that's why I have that. And my little teddy bear. Boo, boo, boo. Anyways, yeah. Um, all that's left is my clothes in there. And to pull my desk down. Yeah. That's it. So that will be a job for tomorrow. Because as I said, I have work in the morning. And I am extremely sleepy and tired right now. I am going to have a shower. And then I'm going to go to bed and tomorrow as soon as i get home i need to be on this i need to be on this and i want to leave here early on friday because friday is the first i'm gonna leave here early so i can get a lot done on the first yeah and i'm also working on the first so i need to leave before work starts Hey my lovelies! So today is Thursday. I, I don't know why it feels like a Friday, but today is Thursday. I don't know why it feels like a Friday because um, I'm moving tomorrow. 
I'm excited, but I'm nervous at the same time because this has literally been my home for the last two years. This is the place I've lived the longest. I hope I hope I don't have to be moving again anytime soon unless it's on my my own a car. Guys, don't be like me and overstuff your stuff. Overstuff your bags because I was trying to rip that thing as if it just popped off in my hand. I mean, they're cheap things from Amazon, but come on. So, unfortunately, at my new place, I laundry is not included. Like, there's a laundry room, but you have to pay for laundry. So, I'm, I was very much spoiled and blessed to be having in unit laundry for the last two years. So, I'm definitely gonna miss that. after 12 sometime and i'm in bed i have a load of laundry going with final final sleep in this house and then tomorrow I'll be in my new place very excited about that but i'll talk to you guys another time thanks for being here with me good night it's moving day Yay. oh it's like after seven i've been up since six i don't know why i keep doing this i have work but I'm working from home today, so now I'm just gonna wash my face, wash my teeth, um, shower and stuff because I want to get an early start because I want to run some errands before I start actually moving. Yes, yeah, so I have a few more stuff in the U-Haul that I have to go get um, and then go for another trip and grab some stuff for some errands and because I have the truck and then um, come back here and unpack everything because I don't have time to unpack right now, but yeah, that's that's it. And it's a two bedroom. Pretty exciting, I would say. But yeah. Um, those are a few of the things that I've moved so far. But this is like a mini apartment tour. And I brought in my bed and my bed frame. My bed frame is full of guys. Get it on Amazon. I have my box spring and my mattress is there. And this is how I did my clothes, guys. Because I was not gonna fold these and then unfold and put them back up. Nope, one go. So then I have a few more stuff in the U-Haul. Hey y'all, so in my place now, I have a shit ton of stuff. I don't know why I have so much stuff. I brought some of the stuff that I had the hold house because I think I'm not in this place right now to buy a couch or buy a table, so I'm just gonna reuse them, even though they're kind of old. I'm gonna reuse them and um, repurpose them. I'm gonna cover them up and paint them and stuff and try to make them nice, okay? And now I'm trying to connect this internet. Your girl, it's, it's been hours, but your girl got Wi-Fi. Finally. No one can do it like you. I pretty much finished sleeping and I bought this mop at Dalarama. My broom's from Dalarama too. Um, yeah, I, I want to mop and then clean up the cupboards and stuff and then put my stuff in there. I didn't buy a stick, I just plan to use the same stick, but eventually I'm going to get a stick. But yesterday was a stick, 
so chaotic I did not get a stick. It's so tiny, but this one. And I'm filming on my iPad because like I said, I don't have a phone to film on right now. But and I'm trying to do everything film on my iPad. And when I'm cleaning, I have to be listening to something, so that's why sometimes the camera is cut out. So, yeah, here we go. And I have some pine salt. I don't have a bucket. I don't have a bucket, so I'm just gonna have to wet this and just mop like that until I can do something else. <laughs> They're tiny, but I feel like for five dollars each, it's not it's not bad at all. This is very thick. This is not as it's not thin, but it's not as heavy and thick. This is heavy, and I have like two forks. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go back to Dollarama today and probably get some more knickknacks. These are my plates. I bought them when I moved into the old house. These are just basic Walmart plates, but we're gonna use them for now until I get some nice cute glassware. Because we're on a what? A budget. <laughs> I'm gonna finish packing up my kitchen, packing up the stuff, and then I'm gonna take a break because I'm hungry right now. I don't have a microwave in here, but yeah. See y'all. Hi guys. So I just went to Dollarama and I got a few stuff. I got a shower curtain that comes with the hooks and it is uh, $4. I got some forks, like a fork set, and it is $4.50. Mm. What else did I get? Oh, I got this limb stroller. This isn't needed, but it was $2.25. And then... I got a, ba a math for my entryway and it was 425 and then I got a bath mat, mat and it's memory foam and it was $5. I got this cute little plushy mat and I'm going to put it on top of something in my room to make it look cute. So yeah, those are the stuff I have. Mm, good morning guys. I feel like y'all have seen me in this the whole vlog but it's so comfy that I keep just putting it on it's like my robe at this point so um i'm gonna put those two things together this is the condition of my room right now so yeah my closet it still needs a lot of work but for now i'm just focusing on putting this together this is what i did remember that thing that i bought yesterday the white fuzz seat there right there it's pretty cute i was gonna go to church today but being around here like the bus doesn't run on sundays and getting to and from church was gonna be like 30 dollars and i'm just like not right now i can't spend 30 dollars for the cab when it's raining and i need to actually go on the road because i need curtains for my balcony door because i didn't find any yesterday so I might do that. I might walk to the mall. I walked to the mall yesterday. It wasn't a bad walk. It was like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those people that no matter what, I feel like I can walk it. Yeah, it was like 30 minutes walk to the mall. I might do it again today to grab some curtains because I really need curtains. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put this together and I'm not going to show y'all because it's boring and I need to figure it out. So yeah. are Dollarama but the storage is Amazon and then this the storage the bins the fuzzy thing is all Dollarama so yay I tell you I love it so much
I'll totally be lying if I said this experience has been like amazing. Like moving there was super stressful. I had um, someone helping me and that was great. I appreciate that so much, but it was still super stressful for both of us. And then the first night here, I couldn't get my Wi-Fi to work. I was very frustrated. I felt like I was barely just, you know, and then I don't know. I'm trying to get used to the place, obviously. I love it, but I'm I'm just... I was at the old place for two years. I felt like I was going to be there for a while. I'm away from that, and it's just like, oh my gosh. I don't know what am I doing. I'm so far away from everyone. I'm alone. Like, not, not alone, but I feel lonely. Like, I feel like I'm alone, you know? And it's not a good feeling, like... I've cried some tears. I've cried too many tears. And it's just the 3rd of March. I've cried every single day since March. And it's not fun. It's literally like 10 a.m. and I've already boohoo cried. And I just hope things pick up from here, honestly. But yeah, I'm an emotional wreck right now. But that that's kind of why I got up and I was like, let me do all of this. Because like me and my thoughts were just uh. so yeah i'll catch y'all later i just finished putting my desk back together and for some reason i have extra screws but i don't it looks fine to me but i have extra screws and i didn't have extra screws before so it's it's a bit concerning but we'll see but this is how this is it period call me bob no it wouldn't be bob call me babina the builder <laughs> Oh, I think I realized where the two screws are from. Because I was like, I put this together, but I think it's to attach this. I think that's why I have extra screws. That was so confused. Okay. It's too big. Yeah, I think this is the only space for it. Not sure. I don't know where to put this desk. It feels so awkward everywhere. Hello, my lovely people. Hi, everyone. I just got in and I just wanted to show y'all what i bought today that's just my lunch bag i went to the store after work because i needed to get some stuff i didn't get much i got juice this was in Valorama. how much did i spend 365 for these two drinks so not too bad and then what i really went for I originally was gonna get these in Dollarama, but when I got there, they were like four fifty, four seventy five for one curtain, and they were kind of thin. Four seventy five for a curtain is not bad; it's a good deal. But they're kind of thin, and I went in Giant Tiger, which was directly beside Dollarama, and they had um, it was a couple dollars more, and it was just thicker yeah like i spent eight dollars each so i felt like it was worth it because they were bigger and thicker so these are for my balcony door because i really really need to cover my balcony door like even though my apartment is on the top floor so no one is really seeing through my apartment it feels weird so i need to put some curtains there so i can open and close as i see fit so that's what i'm gonna do now um i literally just got home but yeah. Hello, my lovelies. I literally already finished editing this video, but I went to Zalarama again. So I needed to show y'all what I got and I couldn't wait for the next video. 
Hi guys, so I'm back with another Dollarama haul. Okay, so these are all the stuff that I got. So first thing, this is ice tray because I need ice tray. And this was $2 and it has the silicone to push it up. My house did come with these, but I didn't trust them. And plus they have the broken things. So I'm just gonna throw these out and I got my own ice tray right now. <sighs> Some milk because I need milk for my cereal. Oh no, you opened. Dang. But this is for my bathroom to wash my hands. I'll just use this now because it's already. Okay, so one of the main things that I really, really wanted, I finally got, and it was this, this drainer. It's not the cutest, but it will do its job. So this one was for four dollars in, in Dollarama. I got white stuff. I really don't know my theme. It's just a bunch of random things. I wanted black, but they didn't have black, so we're just gonna work with this one for now. And also something that I needed also was um, to put my utensils because now they're just thrown in the drawer on a piece of um, aluminum foil. I got this to store my stuff because this is good to have, you know, discover your pots. I can't go to Dollarama and not buy gums. I'm sorry. My favorite purchase. Oh my gosh, this was really cool. And I'm going to make y'all guess the price. Is three um, thing of glasses. Um, yeah, I only have like this cup and then my mugs. So this is very cool to have, and I love fake glasses. Let me see. I don't think it's that big, but let's see. It's not bad. Oh, it has the. It's like the can thing. Anyways, this is nice. Okay, period. Um, can you guess the price? Three, two, one. So for this whole thing with three glasses in it was three dollars at Dollarama. I feel like that was a great deal, so I got it. Today, um, for my job, I had to go to a career fair, and as a communications coordinator, I had to go there um, to speak about the job opportunities that are at my job right now. And I ran into so many of y'all, like so many people were like, oh, I watch you on YouTube. And it was so nice to like, I was not motivated at all to continue posting. But that really, yeah, like a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I used to watch you before I came here and now I'm here and I got to meet you. Like, what? Anyways, that was really cool. And it was a lot of people too. It was a lot of people. I was like, oh my gosh, what? crazy i feel like all the people that watch me are just coming to up yeah, when i left so yeah and that was pretty cool and it was nice meeting all y'all if you're watching yeah you even took a picture with one person <laughs> yeah that's the first time someone was asked me for a picture and it was pretty cool oh my god anyways i'll see you guys i need to go find food okay bye <laughs>